I'm not religious at all. I'm, I, I say I'm spiritual, but not religious. And, and I think that that's a big, big thing, big chunk of the foundation of what OPA is about is um, the contrast between Western materialism and Eastern spirituality. That, that when he arrives on the island, he is, you know, he doesn't even see the sea. He doesn't smell the air. He doesn't experience the sensuality of the island. He's just there to find this cup that Jesus Christ drank from, or, you know, the cup of St. John the Divine. And, and as he's there, and it, and it turns out that it might be under the taverna that this beautiful Katerina uh, runs, that the, the, the taverna is kind of representational of, of a thing, of the cup. And in order to get the cup, he's going to have to tear the taverna down. And in order to, you know, to tear the taverna down, he's going to disrupt the lives of those people that live there. They go to the taverna to enjoy life, you know, to drink and dance and sing songs and, and it, you know, where the community comes together. And um, he's going to destroy that to get a thing. And what he realizes over the course of the film is that what's important is those people, that, that this sharing life of, of enjoying each other's company is really the most important thing in life you know so that when you get that opportunity to put your head on the pillow that you can put your head on the pillow and say man this was a good ride that was